I was on the Hill a lot as we were legislating these relief packages. And because of that, I've been exposed to a lot of people. And our family doctors uh, advised that I should self-isolate here in DC because one of my family members up in New Hampshire, our son Ben, happens to have some pretty severe medical uh, challenges and could be really, really severely impacted by the virus. Ben, first of all, is a 31-year-old young man with a great sense of humor and uh, really is a great source of energy and uh, joy in our household. In fact, he actually his sense of humor is usually at somebody else's expense. So um, we have a lot of laughter going on. Ben can't walk um, and he uh, doesn't speak, although he can motion with an arm or make facial expressions that let you know what he's thinking. He understands everything around him. One of his challenges is that uh, his respiratory system is pretty compromised. It's hard for people uh, in his situation to take deep breaths and cough and do all the things that generally uh, keep our lungs healthy when we've got some sort of cold or bug. Given that this virus in particular uh, hits people in their respiratory system, it is really important to us that we not transmit it to him and do everything we can to avoid that. What I'm hearing from families like mine is that people are worried about all the things everybody else is. All of the complexities of this stay at home during the pandemic are hitting them too. But in addition to that, they are acutely worried that if their loved one uh, who has complex or special needs needs to go to the doctor, uh, that they will be at risk even going outside and entering a healthcare facility because so many people in the healthcare facility uh, could be contagious. So one of my messages during this time to people who feel fine and don't understand why they're being asked to stay home and socially distance is just to remind them that this virus is particularly stealthy in that you can transmit it even when you're asymptomatic and you don't know you have it. The bigger issue here is about how we value human life and how we make sure uh, that we are doing everything we can to recognize the value of every single person in our democracy and around the globe. Our challenge right now as a democracy is about making sure that we are working together and marshalling our resources in a way that makes sure that all of us can get the health care that we need when we need it, whether it's COVID or whether it's something else. So here's the thing, even if you feel fine, you could be carrying the COVID-19 virus. And if it gets passed to somebody who is at risk, somebody with special needs, somebody who's older, maybe somebody who's just getting done with cancer treatment, or maybe even a healthy person who doesn't have any underlying illness, this disease could be lethal for them. So let's all stay home, do our part, flatten the curve to make sure that our healthcare system will be there for each and every one of us if we need it. Mm -hmm.